Welcome, and thanks for downloading Circles. Once you've logged in, everything you need lives in this little circle menu at the top of your screen, near the clock. Circles tries to stay out of your way and operate within your workflow, instead of forcing you to work around it. The two primary actions you'll want to take are either quick starting a new meeting or joining an existing meeting. Let's cover the quick start first. Once you click that button, Circles launches a new ad hoc Zoom meeting for you. Give permission for your microphone and camera, and we're in. When you hover over yourself, you'll see controls to turn on and off your microphone and camera. You'll also see this little floating menu with in-call features and controls. You'll notice the main Circles menu now offers in-call options as well. We'll cover all of these in a minute, but let's also try joining an existing meeting first. Joining a Zoom call is just as easy. If you know the meeting ID or have a meeting link, you can just paste it into the join bar. Otherwise, if you have a link to a Zoom meeting on your calendar or in an email or anywhere else, you can just tap it like you normally would. When you open the link with circles, you're given the option to join with circles or to join with regular Zoom. In this case, we'll join with circles. You can see us connecting, and now you can see we're in the waiting room, waiting to be admitted. So here we are in the Zoom meeting. It doesn't matter if anyone else is using Circles or Zoom, you're in the same Zoom meeting. So let's go over some of the cool features that give you control of your Circles experience. First, the series of Circles that you're looking at is called the Dock. So amongst all these other features, we'll start with the Dock settings. In here, you can control the size of the Circles. You can choose the number of Circles you wanna see on your screen at one time, you can change from horizontal to vertical. And if you want, you can also change the opacity so you can see what's behind the circles on your screen. If you tap Manage Participants, you'll now be able to reorder the circles on your screen, rearrange people, remove people, and bring people back into the dock. This people gallery will also show you the overflow participants who are not in the visible circles, but are still on the call. Another cool feature is the ability to stack the circles into active speaker mode. This works just like you'd expect it to work with Zoom. In the main circles menu, you can access preferences to control your Zoom experience. This screen should look pretty familiar. You can control your devices or even set a virtual background just like you can in Zoom. We also have circle specific settings as well. In both menus, you have the option to copy the meeting link or start a screen share. And just like you'd expect with Zoom, you can chat during a meeting. Let's test it out here. We'll send a quick message to Tim. And we got one back. We'll adjust back to horizontal to say goodbye to Tim. And we're really excited for you to start using Circles. We encourage you to invite your friends and colleagues if you enjoy using it. Thank you so much, and please reach out if you have any questions.